Did you start on TikTok and then go to mm -hmm. Instagram? Okay. I started primarily on TikTok mm -hmm. and then jumping to Instagram was actually a weird challenge for me because also at the time it was right when Reels was just picking up, believe it or not. So it was primarily TikTok and then Instagram was only videos, which I think we were all super hesitant when Reels started regardless. We're like, what the heck is Instagram doing? But now it's pretty much the main, or not the right. main, but a big portion of the platform. Um, and so then I wanted to grow my audience and I wanted to just reach more people. So I was so nervous about starting on Reels. I had actually texted some of my friends. I said, would I be weird if I started posting <laughs> Some things on reels, which I, I dislike that net looking back now, because at the end of the day, that's what made me happy. And it's not that big of a deal. And I should have just gone for it anyways. But sometimes you need that little bit of uh, confirmation that you should just do it. Right. So I just started doing it and I haven't looked back and I couldn't, I, that person who was so freaked out about posting what I'm already posting on TikTok on reels, um, I, that's like alarming to me because I would not be scared yeah. to do that now. Did you use the same, um, did you start a whole new Instagram or did you just use your personal? Um, I used my personal. That you had already had. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then with Hush and Be Bold, so I know I read some of the writing. It's so good, by the way. Oh, I love thank it. thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how did you get into writing? Like, it's always been probably like a passion project for you, right? And then yeah. like, it's built from there. But like, what's the, like, what do you like to write about? Like, kind of give us sure. more into that. Yeah. So I feel like the writing portion of me is like my little baby because <laughs> it's still so new, but I've also been doing it for such a long time. So I would say I began writing uh, right at the beginning of college. And at first it was purely creativity writing. So I would just somewhat write about, uh, I would just journal, but kind of make it a really flowing poetry style of writing. Sometimes I would write short stories, uh, more fiction based. And then I remember I would start reading articles from uh, about like college experiences. And I'm like, wow, I kind of want to, try doing that. Mm -hmm. How are these girls or boys writing for these platforms? I want to do that. And so um, what I did is I got all of my best work. I found a whole bunch of different online publication sites. I applied for a couple on the spot, which I never heard back from, and mm -hmm. I got rejections, I think. And then there was one platform called The Odyssey, which like was very college-based. I'm sure, I am very sure if you went to university in America, you probably mm -hmm. have read one of these Mm -hmm. blogs and I applied and I got the position so I was a uh, intern for this company the Odyssey and every week I would write uh, I think it was like one to two articles and that was like my first little bit of confidence like oh shoot I can write like it, it all it took was just trying yeah and now I'm a writer right. um and so then from there like I I never really took it that seriously in college I began to again just post my stuff I would uh, send it out to a couple of different publications here and there for like creativity. Um, and then it wasn't until even, I think it was 2020. It was the first time I, I got paid for my writing, which was so cool. Nice. I thought that was like yeah. the most. Was it for a different publication? Yeah, yeah. it was for a startup company. Mm -hmm. And so I did uh, some blog educational posts for them and I got paid for doing something that I love and I hadn't e I know that I hadn't even scratched the surface of what I could really do with my writing um, so that's kind of the backstory of of how I got started it was just a little bit of having an interest and trying it over and over again mm -hmm. um, but today I would say like it's still something I'm fully exploring and, and expanding upon so yeah um, I do it as frequently and as often as I can. And I have some exciting things in the works too that I want to so work cool. on, but yeah, yeah. I, I love writing. Do you see it as like you want to write a book one day? Do you see it as like you love like the short story format? I mean, I know on like your Instagram, it feels like to me, like it's refreshing to read. Like I, when mm -hmm. I read it, I'm like, oh, that made me feel good. Like that's yeah. what I get from it personally. But yeah, what's the, what do you want people to get from your writing? that for mm -hmm. one I feel like I do have a very emotional side to myself and yeah. so it's always been a lot easier for me to put that into words I find it just comes really natural to me and I love just expressing that and then maybe having one person also be like 
wow, that's exactly what I needed to hear today. Mm -hmm. Because I get that all the time too. I'll be scrolling through social media and I'll read a little blurb and I'm like, holy crap, how did they know that I'm also struggling with that (laughs) too? Yeah, (laughs) I needed to read that. Yeah. And so um, I find I really resonate with that right now that I love to have those smaller short form um, or long form as well in more of an essay form that people can just read and it gives them that tiny little boost of oh yeah okay everything's gonna be all right like I'm not an actual failure or whatever (laughs) or whatever you're thinking of yourself right (laughs) right no we don't think that over here no I've never had bad thoughts about myself (laughs) no I always laugh I um the, the second that Ramey said like that you were going to come on, I'm like, the first thing that popped in my head was the emotional support sandwich. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Such a thing. Yes. It's from Sprouts. I need Sprouts. to try that on yeah. my next flight. I, I, I've been wanting to. <laughs> I am, I've got it down to a science. I go to Sprouts either the night before I travel or the morning of, if it's before a 2 p.m. flight, I always go in the morning. Uh, I'm giving away all my secrets. So yeah, no, it's going to be gone. No, they know where to find you. <laughs> no, I go at 10 a.m. If you go a little bit later, you're going to get the lunch crowd. And the lunch crowd can be long, a long line. And I, no disrespect to the Sprouts workers. They are the most hardworking, beautiful people <laughs> I've ever met in my entire life. But they do like to take their sweet time on the mm. sandwiches. That's, it's, it's made with love. It's made with love. It's so it's why great. It's the emotional it's why support. It's my emotional support sandwich. <laughs> um, yeah, I could go on for days and days about my emotional sports sandwich. That's like, there's no real relevance other than that. Do you <laughs> get it that. any other time but you fly? Like, do you get it all the time or is yeah. it just when you fly? <laughs> yes, but then it's no longer an emotional sports sandwich. It's just my it's sandwich. It's my sports sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> there's a specific time when it's my emotional okay. sports sandwich. Okay, and now you have to tell us the order. Okay, well, it's nothing <laughs> revolutionary and that's fine. Yeah. Not everything needs to be. Okay, I usually get sourdough bread. That's already mustard mm. and mayo. Mm. Uh, here's the key with the lettuce: you have to take it off of the sandwich once you get home, only mm. because you don't want it to get Mushy. soggy. Mm-hmm. Uh, turkey, That's a huge tip. It's a huge tip. <laughs> yeah. It really is, and you don't have to do it, but it will improve the overall experience of eating. I need a crunch. <laughs> said yeah. exactly, yeah. and then just turkey and, and like Jack or Swiss cheese. That's that's all you need. Okay. Sometimes. It's all you need. When you make your own sandwiches, do you cut sideways or diagonal? Oh, <laughs> that, like Did I get you I, with that. One? I'm not too controversial on that. Oh. Like on random things like that, I don't have an opinion. You'll just you'll I'll just, just whatever sling the my knife hand anyway. does. It's just like okay, it's diagonal. Sometimes or, I rip it in half. Yeah, sometimes like what like a third. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, like in just small little triangles, <laughs> like ten triangles. I'm kidding. No, no I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> ten triangles. No. Oh 